John McRae is a Canadian of Scottish origin, born in Guelph, Ontario. He's very much a product of the late 19th century. His father's a militia lieutenant colonel in the artillery in Guelph. Uh, he is a cadet in high school. He joins the militia, his father's regiment, at a very early age. Uh, after he graduates from Guelph Collegiate, he goes to the University of Toronto and joins the Queen's Own Rifles at the University of Toronto. He gets a BA in English, then he goes to medical school and graduates in 1898. While he's basically doing his interning and residency, the South African War begins, and McRae, as that product of his time, as a militiaman, thinks it's his duty to join the forces, to get, he gets into the artillery, goes to South Africa as a lieutenant in the artillery, and serves for essentially a year in that war, a bloody, nasty war, where he is, I think, a little bit disillusioned, but nonetheless returns back to Canada with his, his imperialism intact, his military ardor intact. He works as a pathologist primarily in Montreal, teaches at McGill and at the University of Vermont, uh, establishes a wide circle of uh, medical friends and also literary friends. He's written poetry throughout his, his life, written poetry at university, published some. Uh, in Montreal, he's friendly with Stephen Leacock and others of a cultural bent. And uh, he knows all the right people. He talks literature. He's a, he's a single man, but he's a valued guest at parties because he's funny, cheerful, optimistic, and still an imperialist in an era when that mattered very much.